fake Mike, the most fictitious, Michaelicious, the fakest Michael you ever seen. Will Turbin, aka the reincarnation of L. Ron Hubbard. Where's my what? Identification. Fraser. That's my passport right there. This is your passport. So where is it? Sir, are you in? Sir, I'm going to need you to stand over here until I give you the order to move over The there. order? All right. Sir, can you stand right here? Is this a lawful order? Sir, can you stand right here? Look, just, this guy just loves... He just... He, he, what's, what's your name? What was my name? Morales. I'll be visiting your, um, your mother tomorrow. Morales? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
going against unconstitutional orders. So as you, as somebody that swore a sacred oath before God and your countrymen to protect our Constitution, just think about the countless men, women, and children who have died and given blood, sweat, and tears for our Constitution so that you may become an officer and you may take that sacred oath to uphold our Constitution. And here, literally, you're sitting in front of a Fourth Amendment violation on two levels. If you took... clear about countrymen who died as well as... Okay, let's take another thing, right? Have you ever arrested anybody for... Possession of illegal substance? Yes. Okay. Are you familiar with prohibition? Yep. Okay, so you're, if you recall, they had to get a constitutional amendment to outlaw alcohol, correct? Sure. Yeah, but they didn't do that with the war on drugs. They took that directly from the United Nations. It came from the executive branch. Executive branch can't make laws. So they never got the proper constitutional ratification for the war on drugs. Therefore, the war on, law on drugs is unconstitutional. No, but this is, this is the point that I'm trying to know. It is you, sir, because it's, you have to disobey unconstitutional orders. That's clearly unconstitutional. They never got a constitutional amendment to prohibit that. So it's not just up to the judges, the exec, executives. Your job is to enforce the laws. And enforcing the laws... You, when you take that oath, you have to discern what is constitutional and what is unconstitutional, correct? Otherwise, you just follow orders like, like the Nazis, right? That's why you take an oath of the Constitution as opposed to just following orders, correct? Okay. Sir, are you, are you his supervisor? No, that's his supervisor okay, here. I just want to let you know that there's 200 people watching you live right now, sir. And every one of them probably is going to end up calling about the behavior of this gentleman right here. Uh, do you, uh, do, oh, he's the supervisor, so he already saw how he treated us. Do you condone or accept that type of behavior, sir, from the Georgia State employee? Do you, do you accept that behavior? Yeah. Sorry, did you didn't answer that question. You saw it, you don't, right? Okay. At least, at least he said he don't. Well, Can I have your name and badge number for the record, sir? Watching, guys. Can you read? You see, this guy right yes, here, but some of the viewers are neurodiverse, illiterate. He's gonna learn. He's gonna learn Your name, sir? The hard way. Corporal. This one right here. Head. H E A D. Thank you very much. The thing is, Do you always ask people, can you read? I wonder how long this guy has worked here, guys. Why are you so upset, sir? I'm seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm bothered right now that you're upset because. I'm not upset. You, I'm sorry, maybe I'm misreading Two you. Two punks come in here and you try to question things. It doesn't make me upset. Okay. Check Title 50 of the Official Code of Georgia. Okay. And you'll see everything we've done is completely legal. Okay, that's okay. fine. That's all I got to why, say. Why, why do you think I'm a punk, though? Because I haven't disrespected but, anybody. Nobody's... How have I, I, I've been nothing but polite. I actually waited for okay. the other officers to speak. Why, why do you think I'm a punk, sir? Because y'all were just looking for an uproar at a... Officers. I'm sure that's all y'all do is go from place to place to place looking to get a rise out of police officers. Well, I would. That's all you do. But clearly, well, you have nothing you're, better you're, to do with your time. You're, you're assuming that, sir. But no. no? Sir? Okay. Go do your project. Okay? I'm not going to entertain this anymore. Okay, well, I just want to let you know whether you listen or not. I don't care. I don't care. Well, you seem a little upset, and I'm trying to talk to you as a man because I think there's a misunderstanding here. Well, let me just tell you this. Walk the same. I am, but I'm, I'm making sure that my viewers know that this guy needs to go. Are you, okay, this so what's... Look, I'm, I'm not talking to y'all anymore, man. I told y'all this. Okay? Y'all are welcome to go walk around the Capitol. It's a beautiful building. You we're going to go... Gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna gonna go stop, stop. Just let me out. Yeah, right after okay. we got violated. But hang on, listen way. to me. Yeah. If, there is a law about disrupting state employees, okay? So... What, what law? It's the first time. 59.9. 59. 59. Go, go, go look it up. Uh, go look it up. Now you're threatening us? I'm not threatening you. I'm exercising freedom on the press. And I have the right, what, you're going to arrest the paparazzi? Dude, you're going to arrest I'm the paparazzi? Not, okay. okay, arrest the paparazzi. There, there is a law about, about what? Listen, I about just told you, go look it up. That's if I'm physically uh, I'm not doing his you. job, sir. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to go Also, read the speaking, law. speaking go is... Go read the law. No, sir, I've already read the law. You okay. can't arrest me for freedom of speech. Okay. Okay, now, you can, you're going to arrest me for freedom of speech? You guys are laughing at being arrested for freedom of speech. You know, we may be punks. We might not be the nicest people in the world, but at least we care about the Constitution. This guy says we have nothing better to do. I've interviewed Martin Luther King Jr.'s niece. I've interviewed CIA whistleblowers. I've interviewed PhDs. I've interviewed scholars from MIT with not one, not two, not three, but four degrees. I interviewed the inventor of email. And I truly care about our human freedoms. And to see you guys not only disrespect us, but the Constitution and laugh at us for bringing up our rights is truly sickening. That's fine. There's 300 watching right now. 
There's 300, there's 300 people watching us, do not break the law. Not break the law. There's 300 people watching you. And, and, and this guy is proud to tell us, this guy, this gentleman right here is proud to tell us, instead of having accountability and transparency in the people's house with all these people working with our hard-earned tax money, instead of being able to have transparency and be able to go talk to your senators, talk to your congressmen, they're threatening to arrest us for asking the Congress questions, which is the exact, which is literally something that fascists do. Threatening to arrest somebody for freedom of speech or protest is fascism. That's the literal definition of fascism. I mean, I mean, what do you think, why do you think the First Amendment was created, sir? It was, it was for you guys to respect uh, the people when they disagree. So it was our right to, to say whatever we want. That's what this country is about. You're going to say disrupting the employee? Am I, am I disrupting him? Because he, he doesn't like what I'm saying. I'm not being loud. I'm not being nasty. You can't take anybody uh, out of here because of what I'm doing right now. Hey, I may not be, I, I, I may be a little bit annoying, sir, but, but I'm not breaking the law. Why is there six cops here? For the First Amendment. First Amendment. For, so says, who says we're here for you? Well, you guys weren't here. That are guy you, called Are him. you assuming that? Then no. you ask him if he was assuming. Are you assuming? That? I am assuming that, yes. We're here, so I'm you're assuming. assuming it, yes. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not talking to you. I'm, talking I'm making an educated guest. Educate, based, yes. based on the fact that none of you guys were here earlier, mm -hmm. you guys all showed up at the literal behest of him. So if you're not here for us... So it couldn't be a coincidence. It, could, it definitely could be a coincidence. However, if it is a coincidence, it would be crazy because I know that there's... So it's not logical that it could be that way? It's possible. However... Well, then if it's possible, there's a possibility. There is, and I didn't say it for sure. I was making assumptions. But you said it's a possibility. Right? I did say there's a possibility. Okay, there's so also, that means it's not a 100% That's fact. right, and I never said it was 100% So if there's fact. any doubt, any shadow of a doubt, that means that you have to weigh both options. And, okay, so as I was telling this gentleman right here, there is definitely a shadow of a doubt with our rights when it comes to the supremacy clause of the Constitution and the Fourth Amendment. Mm -hmm. But he didn't take that into consideration with me. Why? Well... <laughs> Okay, so this all starts because you don't want to show your ID to come into the building, correct? No, we this is a controlled access building. You do understand that, right? Okay. Okay. And, and just like a kill a okay. courthouse, when you go to the courthouse, you go in the front doors. Who's the first person you see? We've been to a deputy sheriff. We've, we've been to a number of courthouses throughout this country, okay. and there's different protocols. Just like if you go down to Fulton County right here, okay, first mm -hmm. person you're going to see is a uniform Fulton County deputy. Okay. It's a controlled access but you're, building. That, I understand that, right? Okay. But, but you can legally enter as I, long as you're not following the protocol. I understand, but my, this is my whole point. This my whole point no this is my whole point that i think that you guys are misunderstanding right okay so here's my thing right you're talking about the policies and protocols right but as i stated how do you think that interacts with the supremacy clause of the constitution okay we go off state laws yep okay all right and like the other truth has already explained to you yep. about 50 code section correct didn't tell you to go look it up right yes tell you everything that we can do yes okay it's all black and white as far as what we can do okay and that is one of the things that you have to do to come into this public building okay, you, because I, it's not an open door to the public it is a controlled access door okay i understand that and this is the point that i'm making okay, right okay the point that i'm making is the fact that even if it has been codified into law mm -hmm. the supremacy clause of the constitution states that anything that goes against the constitution is automatically so what i haven't even finished sir and i let you finish okay. it's automatically null and void so the supremacy clause of the constitution which you swore an oath to protect says that even if there is a state law or federal law that goes against the constitution it's your duty that and you took an oath to make sure you uphold the constitution as opposed to a law that would go against that do you understand what i'm saying so what you're saying is make sure i'm right sure i appreciate you saying it back to me that you don't agree with the state laws that are in place in the state no what i'm saying is it's not my agreement. The state laws in in Georgia contradict the supremacy clause and the Fourth Amendment. So it, it, not only the supremacy clause of the Constitution, but also the Fourth Amendment. But the supremacy clause states that any state or federal law. So, do you think a state limit is a constitution? Well, that's because a, it limits how fast you can go. It, it limits you on your freedom. On, on that's true, and there's also been a number of studies. Right. But yeah. wait, wait. This, okay, I, I want you to answer that. For sure. Me and tell me your honest opinion. On sure, it. I will. Because it is a state, so that yeah. it limits you, right? Yeah. From how fast you can go, if you desire to go faster than the posted speed limit, right? Sure. Okay. So when you get a stop for speeding, okay, do you go to court for that? Yes, if you choose to, or if you want to pay a ticket. Oh, or if you don't, you get a warrant for your arrest. If yeah, you yeah. Okay? All right. So what's the difference in that? State law and yep. state law.
Well, because it limits you as well. Well, be, well, the argument would be the argument would be there's two different arguments to the constitutionality of the thing. This is this is a blatant unconstitutionality because no, it, that's not. Yeah, the state is not limiting your. I res no, no. I, I respect you taking the time, and I would, I would, I would ask because I, I know, I definitely know this other guy over there. He doesn't like me, and I honestly tried to have a. No, he called me a punk, and I, he called me a punk. Well, you called yourself one too. You said we. I did. I said that after he said that, just, just to try to. Uh, we, I may be, I may be a punk, but it's not against the law to be a punk. But what I'm saying is this. Okay. What I'm saying is this. I, I may be a punk, but I truly, and that's what I was trying to convey. Mm -hmm. I, I know we're not dressed like press, but I truly care about human freedom and the Constitution. I, I, I meant everything that I said about that, and I want to have good faith conversations. That's why I came in here yeah. respectfully. I mean, we have our rights to come in here and me, be mean and swear, but we don't. Instead, I'm trying to be polite and have a good faith conversation. So, yeah, but see, your pro your prerogative is is solely one sided. Okay. You come in here with with an idea, an ideal, right? Yes, right? Or what you wanted to convey, your ideas that you wanted to convey, either to us or whoever else. Okay? I think your partner might be leaving. But He's not my partner. That's for a friend? Yeah, that's, that's a I'm better term. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the South, that's what we say. I know, okay. <laughs> okay. Because I don't assume. Okay? Yeah, okay, I appreciate that. All right. Either way, but like I said, you know, you come in here one side, and then when you get told something else that's not, that goes against what you believe or ideals or whatever else, that's when your conflict comes in. I agree. And, the, and the, one of the things is we're definitely, none of us in this room are going to have a consensus on the Constitution. But one of the other things that is very important to all police uh, and law enforcement is courtesy and respect. Especially because, you know, you might not like this, but... Well, well it goes both ways. It does. It does. And this, because, uh, this is my point. For this instance right here, mm -hmm. right? you come in, he asked you for your ID. Yeah. Your first instance... Saw half of his videos. Yeah. So said what? Why do we have to show that? Well, yeah, because I think so it's, like, we weren't being rude, though. We we're just asking a question. That's not being rude. He has, he has asked you for something to come into the building. That is sure. what he is supposed to do. I understand right? that. You go, it goes this is my your, point, your though. Ideal. It goes against your idea. So that, that, that's when the conflict for, let, let's let's set that aside because I'm not. I definitely know I'm not going to convince you on the, the validity yeah, of that yeah, today. Yeah, definitely not on the but the, but the thing is, even before. He he was like, okay, walk in, do this, and that's not the way. You, that's what I'm talking about. Forget the Constitution. That, Treat that throws all that out, then. No, for, exactly. Yeah. That, that just just be me. polite. Just be polite to me when I walk in because I haven't done anything wrong. You know, it, I know our founding fathers would be upset if but, they had to walk into right. the people. Let, let me finish because I let you finish okay. all the time. All right, all right. It's just human decency. I'm always even when some, that guy was negative to me, I didn't I didn't raise my voice. It's just be nice. You know, welcome to the people's building. You know what I'm saying? Hey, good morning, mm -hmm. good afternoon, how are you? But instead, he's like, what I'm going to do? do is put all this stuff over there and i think the reason we questioned it is because I, I was just two weeks ago at the new hampshire state capitol i just walked in there's no scanner there's no id anything different in different states and that's the ninth and tenth amendment mm -hmm. i would just ask you one more favor and i appreciate you speaking with me today to go and review the supremacy clause of the constitution and sir i just want you to know that i may be a punk but i truly am a nonviolent activist i truly do believe in human freedom i truly do believe in the constitution and i wish you nothing but the best and i hope you have a safe career and i hope all of you gentlemen will go ahead not only to read the constitution but the federalist paper and the anti-federalist papers because people died for our freedoms guys and if you guys just keep following orders and orders the pandemic showed that we don't have any rights they're only privileges if they can take them away they're not privileges and you guys are supposed to be the vanguard you guys are supposed to when the when the democrats republicans give illegal orders you're supposed to say no that's unconstitutional and that happened in a few places in arizona and california during the pandemic and it would be beautiful to see a new rising of human freedom in the constitution in the georgia state patrol i wish you guys nothing but the best please study up on the constitution the federalist papers the anti-federalist papers you sir you're very rude you look like mega minds and i don't like that and, and it's just me all right guys well Fake Mike real news, you know, just accosted by redcoats. And, you know, I, I, I really tried to be nice to these gentlemen. And, I, and these guys didn't want, to, didn't want to hear. And I, I remain losers. calm. You guys are all traitors. Have a good one, traitors. Traitors to this country. Traitors. Well, guys, unfortunately, this is why Mr. America has to continue doing what he's doing is because even when you when you're polite even when you're nice even when you articulate your argument to like argument That's completely clear say, hey brother how are you today you look tired man you need a break huh? you need a break you, don't, don't it's hot today it's how hot many, today how many bad guys you catch today sir how many bad guys I hopefully yes, none catch today, no. none mm -hmm. hey let me ask you one There's question mm -hmm. do you know the five parts of the first amendment
The five parts? Yeah. Yeah. What are they? Well, I got to So we, we in school or something? No, no. It's just because you're a police officer and not only the civil rights heroes, but our founding fathers gave blood, sweat, and tears for the Constitution. And I just wanted to make sure you knew all five parts of the Constitution, the First Amendment. Yeah, Could you just say it for the video? No, I ain't, ain't going to say it for the, for the video, but I know all of Do you know what the Third Amendment is? I know... What is all it? Of, I know all of the amendments. How many are there? What's the third one? How what many are there? What? Once again. How many are there? He I'm, doesn't. Oh, he right, doesn't he know. know. But once again, I'm not going to sit up here and stuff and, and, and entertain. You, you don't want to entertain the Constitution, the thing that you took an oath to that people die for. Why wouldn't you want to entertain your little job description? My little job. Your literal job description. That's your job yeah. description. That would be like me walking to Taco Bell and ordering a gordita, and they'd be like, "Why would you ask me for a gordita?" It's because it's your job. Your job is a Constitution. So I'm did asking we, about the Constitution. No, do we go to Taco Bell and ask for a Big Mac? No, we go to we go to police officers and we ask for the Constitution. Why would you? Why would you feel offended by that? <laughs> but why would you walk around and just because we're well, we're, cops? Because because <laughs> on, the, on, the, on the constitution. Because in this country, in this country, unlike uh -huh. a dictatorship, it's participatory. So, so the citizens so, have to. Be so this is on YouTube. This is everywhere. Huh? Everywhere. This is everywhere. Yes, sir. Well, I I, I hope y'all get the subscribers and. The, the I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, I hope I, I hope you go back and reread the Constitution. What was your name and badge number? Huh? What was your name and badge number? My, my name? Yes, sir. Louis. Thanks. My, my badge number is 736. Please go back and reread the Constitution, sir. Mm -hmm. We're going to come check up on you. Have a great day. Mm -hmm. And y'all, please go back and stuff. And y'all do like... So, I'm a type of guy and stuff. Christian guy. I don't get caught up into like all this. That's the First like, Amendment. Like the there, you there you go. First Amendment. Freedom of religion. But I'm a... <laughs> Christian guy, I don't get um, caught, caught up in uh, all of this, like other kind of stuff. What do you think about the? Uh, what do you think about the? Uh, the fact that Europeans uh, took Africans and stole them from their homeland and forced them to worship their Christian God and murdered their original beliefs, indigenous beliefs. So, I, I can have like a million different thoughts about it, but uh, but the only thing I can do as of right now is taking stuff and just pray to God for myself. Well, I appreciate your time. I wish I had a million different thoughts myself. You know what I'm saying? That's a little harem, you know what I'm saying? Hey, have a good day. Brush up on the Constitution. Oh! High five, high five. We're high-fiving like the cops out here. The cops in Orlando, they'll start high-fiving you. They'll start high-fiving you. They're like 307 unsolved murder cases. Somebody just shot seven people and we don't know where we're at. Oh! We just harassed the drunk driver. So guys, yikes. Out Atlanta is scary. Scary. There's 300 watching you right now. 300. What's, what's your favorite Wu-Tang joint? Love you guys. What's up guys? We're live. Oh yeah.